didn't say yes or nod, but here they are. Number one, do you accept Jesus as your personal Savior and Lord? And do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? I accept. Yes. Yes. Do we get a nod? Paulina? Amen. Number two, do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? Yes. 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 Amen. <laughs> Number three, do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ? to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence, tithes, and offerings, and a life of service? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we've gone through all the vows at, uh, at home in their homes. We've gone through all our studies together, and uh, these are a short summary of those. Um, now, there was a short little testimony that would like to be shared, did you feel confident, or you want me to read it for you? All right, we'll do that. Palmo asked me to read this, and imagine her speaking this. I was asked by Pastor Lucian, why did I make the decision to get baptized? I said to him that my heart is ready. My heart is ready because I have seen the Lord move in my life, and I cannot deny him any longer. That's beautiful. He has moved in simple and in complicated ways. No coincidence, but only God Almighty. He has placed angels in my life at the right time. He has used me as a blessing to others. There has been a pouring of blessings on me. Today is an additional blessing. And so I was forced to have a, con a conversation with myself. I asked myself if this was my last day on earth, would I be ready and prepared for his coming? The answer was no. Why am I not serving God? I had no answer. How can I be thankful? I said to myself, you know the truth. Therefore, it is time to commit to living the truth. And so today, I am taping, taking that step because I want to see Jesus someday. <laughs> Amen. What a beautiful testimony. Thank you for sharing. Now, church family... How many of us, subject to baptism, would love to see these amazing individuals join Pine Hills Drive Seventh Avenue Church? Show of hands. Nice and loud. Nice and wave them high. There you go. That's an extension of your family. Amen. And so because you raised your hand, you're also entering into a covenant that you're going to be praying for these individuals and that you're going to be encouraging them where you can and seeing how they're doing. Amen, church family? Amen. Amen. So, before we begin, I'd like to pray together. Can we kneel? Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this amazing opportunity we have to dedicate our lives to you through the watery graves of baptism. Heavenly Father, there have been so many key influential people in these individuals' lives that had led to this decision. And so we praise you for that. And Father God, as we enter into those waters, I pray, Lord, that you may renew us. Father God, as we give our lives to you, may you continue to be faithful to us. And Heavenly Father, we know that this is just one of the beginning steps in their journey. It's not the final point. And we know that attacks from the devil will come and may come. But Father God, you are greater and you have already won that battle, that war. And so, Father God, we trust that you will protect these individuals, encourage them where they need encouragement, strengthen their faith where they may need that strength. And, Father God, whatever they may face in life, may they always remember this day when they surrendered all to you. And, Heavenly Father, as we together enter into those, uh, that water, I pray, Lord, that it may be a reminder to all of us in this room that have already made this decision and to be reminded of our commitment to you, and our sacrifice of ourselves into your hands. Heavenly Father, I also pray for those that are on the edge of making this decision. May, be, may this be an example to all of us. We pray, Lord, for a, dedica a dedicatory prayer for these three individuals. In Jesus' name, amen.
Well, church family, you've heard the wonderful decision that they've made. And so, Andre, we've been on an awesome journey together. Amen? I'm excited for this special day. May it always be memorable for you. Well, Andre, because of your decision to give your life to Jesus Christ, it is a privilege and a blessing for me to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. for me to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, church family, you know what comes next. The wonderful question of, is anybody else wanting to make this decision today? Can I go show of hands? For those that want to as well plan for a day when we'll enter into the watery graves. Are there any? Amen. Amen. We have a few. Yes. Now some we're already studying together. and we're, we, We'll plan for that. There's also some more. Make sure that you please come see myself or one of the elders. Uh, and we'd be very happy to arrange some studies and, some, uh, and your special day together. Thank you.